friends. I finally have sat down to film probably the most requested video that I'm getting right now. I'm getting like multiple requests a day. And as you can tell by the title, it is what I'm wearing to EDC Las Vegas 2019. Um, it took me a while to film this just because I kept ordering things and I kept adding on accessories and all this stuff and everything finally came in the mail. So I'm gonna be doing a side-by-side -side video here. So I'll show you the items to the days. And then I put them on, I tried everything on, and pieced together my whole outfits. Um, there might be like one or two things that I probably add on the weekend of, because I do want their to be some surprises but for the most part this is everything that I'm wearing before we get into the rest of the video if you guys are not already please hit that button down below and subscribe I would absolutely love to have you guys come back and watch more videos I have an entire EDC Las Vegas playlist it's linked down below with like I don't know over 40 something videos at this point so go binge those and get as much information as you can I do have to say these are my favorite outfits that I've ever put together um, this is my fifth year going to EDC and I feel like the more and more I've become involved in the EDC community and sort of like festival fashion the more my fashion has evolved and I'm very proud of myself this year at least I think so I mean the first year I went I literally was in like uh, a neon sports bra high-waisted shorts and I did like some glitter makeup but that was pretty much it and now I feel like there's so many different shops on Etsy on Instagram and you know there's so much out there to get inspiration from I was totally inspired this year and I bought a bunch of new stuff so let's go get into it oh and just be aware the description box down below is gonna have everything listed everything I bought all the shops that are featured here so you guys can check that out I have them in order here so I'm gonna show you what I'm planning to wear on Friday the first thing you'll see up uh, is a bikini set that I got from Lime Blonde and it is this amazingly like hot and sexy red snake print. So it's a little bikini top, like very, very high cut bottoms, but this was a set that came together. Pricing will be listed down below too. Lime Blonde is a UK based company, I believe that I had just seen people like, I, I think her name is I Love UM. I'll tag her Instagram here wear and I think that all of their sets are just the cutest patterns and now that I have this in person I forget what size I bought I think I bought a size 8 yeah I'm a UK 8 which normally I would say I wear a small and everything so just to size yourself it's tight it's for sure tight and I'm like a tiny person so like definitely just be worn and it shows a lot of skin they had so many other really cute patterns but it is the most comfortable stretchy material I'm not gonna wear a bra with any of my outfits this year which for your girl like I'm very big on top so the fact that I don't have to wear a bra and I can just be like comfortable and everything in here just like cinches me in is awesome so in love with this one thing that you'll notice about a lot of my outfits is that like I feel like in with rave wear some people especially to EDC Las Vegas will wear very very little clothing and you know it's your own prerogative do whatever you want you know completely no judgment zone people will wear the craziest stuff but for me like I'm not comfortable showing that much skin just wearing pasties and a thong does not do it for me um, I kind of like to go with the theme like maybe show off one feature and then sort of like cover the others that's just what I'm comfortable doing so that to me is too revealing so what I did is I found this mesh t-shirt dress that I had bought last year from iHeartRaves and I never wore it. So it's just a big oversized uh, mesh t-shirt dress. This is a size small. I have to cut this tag off. So I'm wearing this over that and to me it just makes me feel way more comfortable because like your butt is very exposed in those bottoms and this covers that a little bit more for me. I kind of just think this gives us more like of an edgy vibe. Like to me my aesthetic is like I'm definitely a girly girl but like edgy grungy like I kind of like a lot of black um, and then I bought my first pair of leg wraps which I've always wanted to own these because I think they look so cool so basically it's like a stretchy elastic um, but it's pretty tight and this goes around the top of your thigh and then you lace them up down your leg and tie them tight so I'm gonna be wearing black leg wraps and these are from iHeart Raves they had a million different colors and then to top it all off, awesome awesome I like this might be one of my favorite accessories that I own like black spiked kaleidoscope goggles i'm an affiliate with glow effects i absolutely love them um if you guys want i have a link below to purchase a bunch of things from glow effects again i am an affiliate with them so i do earn a small bit of compensation based on your purchases but if you love my channel and you love what i do and you want to support me and you want to support glow effects i highly highly suggest checking out their products and picking one up yes yeah, so then i also have these like oil slick polychrome goggles so these are just shaded um, and then these are the ones the pixel pro they look like that 
they like glow all different colors and stuff. So these are all my glow effects stuff. I'll probably just like have them at the top of my head. And I just kind of like the like steampunk kind of vibe these give off. I think it makes everything look a little bit edgier. So that's my outfit for Friday. Oh, and the shoes that I'm going to be wearing, these are super like dirty and dingy looking i apologize but i wear these to all, almost all my shows these like platform sneakers i got them from h&m a couple years ago i don't mind that they get dirty i kind of like their whole like look so i'm wearing these also wearing this perler that i made that i'm obsessed with that says plur uh it's like a little melted rainbow plur i just got into making perlers this year um i have a tutorial on it i can put a card up in here but i'm planning to make more i want to make some of my favorite artist logos i made some of my friends some perler necklaces so i will be wearing this one for sure along with candy this is my candy bag um, my little tara and i share this we did a candy making video so i added to the collection so i will always be wearing candy on my wrist so that i can be trading with you guys the next outfit i have i am like obsessed with this outfit actually okay so i bought this beautiful bodysuit from sweet electric wear this is my first time ever shopping through sweet electric wear to support companies that aren't just like major major brands but also like women who run etsy shops or smaller female entrepreneurs who are like starting their own rave companies I think that that's so cool five with aid here on YouTube um, just did a video where she did a clothing haul with all smaller rave companies so go check that out but I saw this because this style if you can see it it's kind of like crisscross pattern she said she wasn't making any more of these and I was like oh let me go just check out what she has and I'm obsessed with gold I love wearing gold so it's got like a nice cutout in the center like sort of like a little high cut on the side for me I like wearing black on the bottom because it's more slimming so this is one of the most comfortable bodysuits that I own I absolutely love it it's not see-through because it's black on the other side so again I don't have to wear a bra and it's a nice comfortable tie love this I feel very sexy in this the fit is great I just bought these they came in the mail today and this was a last-minute purchase and I'm so happy that I bought these so I got these little fishnets they're bedazzled these are from freedom ravewear so they sit up here and they were cut out on the sides and in the front and the back so you'll see in the picture like they very sexy these are so pretty i'm wearing that with the bodysuit with this gold outfit i'm not wearing a camelback and i will show you why in a second so i did want to buy a new fanny pack and i became familiar with this brand spiral they're a really nice size fanny pack you can fit a lot in here so this one i caught my eye immediately i'm obsessed obviously <laughs> with roses with black so this is totally like my aesthetic so you have a nice big pocket in the front and the best part is that you have a pocket in the back which is a really nice size so i always put my phone in here because that is the side that sits against you so if somebody like there's pickpocketers everywhere you always have to be careful and aware of your stuff but if somebody went to grab in like your phone is sitting against you so i'll usually put my phone credit card what you know whatever it is on the side that's sitting closest to me so we've got that and then the scene stealer for this whole outfit is this little number the Lumi shop I mean how crazy is that so a couple thoughts on this I have always wanted to own like a sequin kimono because I just think they look stunning and anything shiny and glittery is me me in a nutshell so I knew this whole theme that I was going for was like gold and black and I saw this and I was like hmm this is kind of dark I like this and then I ended up getting the fanny pack based on this color scheme too but only issue is it's expensive 65 bucks um and i also ordered the one without these tassels attached because to be quite frank i don't know the tassels kind of annoy me a little bit like i can i'm a little nervous that i'm going to be wearing this and i'm going to be sick of it within an hour because it's very big you'll see it on me um but it is so beautiful and the quality really really is there and they have so many options um i did email them saying like, hey, I ordered the one without tassels and you guys sent me the one with tassels, um, hoping to exchange them. And they kind of had a weird response that rubbed me the wrong way a little. But anyway, that is my whole, my whole outfit for that day. Last but certainly not least, I wanna say this one's my favorite. They're all my favorite, they're all my favorite. I love the combination, they all give me a different vibe. So this last one is a bodysuit that I am obsessed with. Um, this is from Freedom Ravewear. It's a little marble top. And it's cut out in the middle and that's got some really really high cut black bottoms again i like the pattern on top and the black bottoms so it's got nice big cut out in the back and in the front this is just really really comfortable to me i think that the pattern is super cool i'm really into 
the marble pattern. So with that, I'm wearing my Seven Lions bandana. I bought this on his website, I, and Seven Lions isn't even playing this year, which is so sad, but he's one of my absolute favorite artists, so I do want to represent him. Um, and I, I'm sort of going for like a cool toned theme with this look. Uh, I'm also gonna be wearing fishnets, just regular fishnet tights, and probably, again, this is another spiral fanny pack. I have this glitter purple one, so probably that. And the shoes that I'm wearing, are these amazing glitter boots that I bought from iHeart Raves. Um, I've broken these in already. I highly suggest if you're buying new shoes, break them in. I wear these to work a lot and I commute to the city in them. I've never worn boots like this to a festival before, so I'm a little nervous. My feet are gonna get hot or they're gonna be like a little heavy to dance in, but honestly, for the most part, they're more lightweight than I thought they were gonna be when they're actually on, so I think I, I should be fine and not have any problem. And again, I'll be wearing candy and all kinds of fun stuff with that. I have colored sunglasses and stuff. I don't know where any of that stuff is right now, but I did want to show you just a couple more things. This was my alternative I was going to wear. This is also from Freedom Rave Wear. This is the Heavenly Oh My Bod bodysuit. And this was so pretty. I was gonna go, instead of like the dark gold bodysuit I bought, I was gonna go for more of like an ethereal, like lighter themed kind of look. And it would have been like all blues and pinks, but this cuts way too low. <laughs> way too low in the stomach and it shows off way too much. And I didn't, I wasn't a fan, so I'm not wearing that. Couple more accessories I just wanna show you guys. I don't think I'm wearing these, but I might bring them, but I do own a light lavender wig and I just bought a gray wig. They're both like shorter so wigs are an option if you want to like play with your hair color and do something fun i also bought colored hair so i could do um extensions Ooh, it's, i think it's pulling out one of like the biggest trends in festival hair right now is like colored braids and colored extensions so i ordered these online i think it was from aliexpress they were each like two dollars um, I just have to teach myself how to braid my hair with them because I tried one time on camera and I got so frustrated and it didn't work out. So we're gonna be practicing. I also wanted to show, I have a Thrill Seeker um, hydration pack, which actually has a lot more room than the Camelback does and it comes in a really cool like tropical pattern. So I have that. I have like a little bag here, Spirit Halloween bag that has like all my other stuff. I have like all different types of bandanas. I have more fanny packs in here depending on the vibe. I bought Electric Daisy Carnival bandana I've worn before. All kinds of fun stuff. Um, I hope that this gives you guys some inspiration and some ideas. Probably be pairing more like accessories and fun things that I do want to be surprised, but I do want to help you guys out um, and I suggest anything from these companies. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. You guys can also follow me on social. I'll pop my information up here. Oh, and one other thing. I will be doing a meetup. It's going to be Saturday inside the festival most likely around 8 p.m. but I'm waiting till like the set times come out because like I don't know not that this would ever happen but like if Eric Prids was at 8 p.m. then we would be moving the time of the meetup if you know what I mean. I do not know location yet because the map is not out. Once the map is out and we see where like all the art cars are and all the art installations then we'll be able to pick a spot and you will be seeing some familiar faces there some other youtubers and ravers that you might be familiar with will be there and I will be linking their information down below as well but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my outfit ideas and I cannot wait to meet all of you guys at EDC this year. So I will see you in my next video. Bye you guys.